Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night's end. Undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you can never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as, as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some head space in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. Well, it is the venue in which every UFC athlete hopes to one day compete, and we are now ready to go from Madison Square Garden here in New York City. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Bam Bam. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. One of the best in the business, Great Herb fight. Dean, is our referee Great. tonight. Good. All right, so here is the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Another fight here tonight. His first two UFC wins took less than two minutes combined. The majority of Do Ho Choi's wins have come by first round knockout. We'll see if he can rack up another one here tonight. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Lead hook is good by Choi. Nice punch there. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> and now Leather being thrown on both sides. Up to the head there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. Lands a jab. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Great block there. Body kick lands. 
Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw in combinations. Three minutes to go. Very nice leg kick there by Short. Oh, nice combination, yeah. Whiffs on the right hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Unable to connect this. And that one certainly found the target. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Oh, hook to the head by Choi. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Two minutes now to go. Fast jab lands in. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Hook there. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Low kick is there. Good jab there by the champion. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Well, that's one way to take advantage of an edge in reach. Beautiful connection with that punch. Stop him! strike to the body really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds nice inside leg kick there all right 45 seconds now to go in the round that shot blocked by Choi. Oh, switch kick. How good was that? He switches the hip really fast and gets that leg up real quick to the target. Oh, beautiful counter. Nice. <laughs> 20 seconds to go in round one. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Final seconds. Yeah. Second round, straight ahead. Take a seat. Deep breath, girl. Girl, relax. Take a drink of water and listen. I want you to set those kicks up a little bit better with your hand. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. Do round it. two underway. All right, next round is underway, and I think my biggest takeaway in the previous round, his ability to avoid shots, right? It seemed like every time his opponent loaded up, by the time the strike got there, he was out of harm's way. And it was a very minimal movement. It wasn't a big movement off the center line. The opponent threw, it was maybe two inches off to the right that allowed him to be out of position from his opponent's punch, but still in position to return a strike of his own. Whips on the straight right. Oh, my goodness! Oh, nice. So, pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So, when you get a guy hurt, 
you got to find a way to finish the fight. Well, as my favorite rap group, Onyx, would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. His right eye's closing up. Nice body shot. Transition after a Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. It looks like the cut man to my right is starting to get anxious with all the high volume of strikes being landed here. He has really kept his opponent on his heels throughout. He's had him on his heels. He's got him reacting. He's reacting to the feints. He's reacting to the jab. He's reacting to every single thing coming in his direction. He has got to find a way to change the narrative, to change the way that this fight is playing out if he wants an opportunity. But to this point, this boxer has looked amazing. Just out of range with the big right hand. Is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Straight right is there. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him. Yeah, trying to see him looking to survive as opposed to winning the fight. When you're in there, you are... Oh! This could just about do it. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Just misses there with the left. Under a minute to go. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his striking. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. Seconds winding down in round two. Ten minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Oh, lands a 
another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't he? Oh! In a ton of trouble right now. An uppercut landed. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, man, that kick looked like it hurt. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did every... Relax, relax. Keep your hands up, boys. Swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Leg kick lands. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Try to establish that jab. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's going to have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's oh, he can't even stand. He's got to be careful here. You have to fight that. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. Oh! strike gets through. This could be over soon. Fighter able to reverse position on the ground and gain a dominant position. Nicely done. Well, maybe ill-advised to be competing off your back, but he's landing. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. And it looks as though he'll let... Oh! That is it! Do outshine! You could produce! Whoa! Holy! Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 24 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. So the Korean Superboy Duho Choi.